Hey guys, and welcome to a new episode of The Lady Studios, this time including the vintage pack, and I'm so happy that the word is finally out and that you guys all know at this point that we had early access, so we already had our time to get used to all the new pieces and to show you guys what you can do with these new pieces. And as you may have seen in the earlier episode where I showed you this entrance and I recorded that one with Rudy Rankamel, uh, I did build this, I don't know how to call it, it's a building where the people walk through when they are heading to the entrance of the park and it's a little bit inspired of the things you see at Disneyland Paris and I just really love it and it looks so much better now with the new pieces from the vintage pack. Like, Seriously, these small little detail items are really amazing and I will definitely use these so much more in the future. And, and the same goes for those art pieces. As I said in my review video, these art pieces, they, they, they look very small and very highly colored, but you can just color them in like every single color so you can use them for so many different areas. And I just really like these shapes and I will definitely use them too for my The Lady in Wonderland Toys Land. Like we can find, I have now finally the feeling that we can finish that area. I don't really have like concrete plans at this point, but I really definitely will use these pieces for that Toysland area. So I just really can't wait to get to that too. But in this episode, guys, we are starting to create a pier too. And that is something I just really wanted to do because Planet Coaster spoiled us with like so many screenshots with the amazing pier they showed. And at first I thought like, oh, we're getting like a a set piece of um, pair items. That is at least what I thought. So the first thing I, uh, when I opened the DLC, I was like, where are those pieces? Where are those pieces? And I was texting Bo like, wait, there's something wrong. They are not in here. She was like, no, that is just like a lot of Western pieces and wooden pieces. So it wasn't specifically a, um, a wooden period that is like, something new for this DLC. So I was really surprised because someone has done a really great job for that screenshots because normally you don't really see that much detail in it, but there were like so many different spikes and stuff at that screenshot. So yeah, I was just really surprised and it's totally fine. Like, I mean, it's not that I never make my own custom things, but I just, that was my wrong expectation that we could, we would get a set of a pier for a custom pier. But all of these planters, guys, and these flowers are just so freaking gorgeous. I can't see anything else. I love them and they give like such a great feeling to it all. By the way, talking about the pier, I didn't even tell you guys in the last episode, like, this is my temporary park of the Lady Studios because it's just way faster to build in because the park is getting super big right now since it's also a combination of the Lady in Wonderland and the Lady Studios all in one park. Um, so I did create this pair layout at least that was the plan and for now you can see at the right hand you have the Lady Studios but in the end I decided to replace the pier to uh, a quarter to the other side of the water because I just felt like no that's that's better because we also want to have like a little vintage area at the sidewalk so if I would put it at the place where you see it right now um, it's like half of the studios pack and I really want to have this like a separate area that is also kind of is a film set. I didn't really use that much for the pier itself as a film set, but I will definitely use that for the area that will be up on the shore. Well, it's not really a shore, it's not a sea, but at, at the land area, if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, I, I created the whole pier already. You will see this in two different episodes because it took me quite a long time to do so because I really wanted to have like the greatest vibe of it. I'm still not totally happy. There might be some changes later on, but I think I'm getting uh, close to it, especially at night time. At night time, 
oh, it looks so gorgeous. I just have to admit about my own work. I'm like, oh, that looks so good. But that's probably just the lighting that they add into this vintage pack. Well, not really the vintage pack, but also like those small little letters with the lights. Oh, that's just amazing. So, oh yeah, I'm so freaking excited about this pack. At first when I was looking at the pack i was like hmm there's not that many stuff in but it makes sense because they now also focus on more rides and well you can imagine like i remember once the devs told me like every ride takes around two to three months to design so it really depends of course what kind of ride it is and how heavily themed it is but it takes a really long time to create any flat rides or coasters too but i'm just talking now in general about flat rides so i can imagine that they decided now to go for uh, maybe a little bit less scenery and less building items but more rides into this dlc and i'm totally fine with that i'm totally happy with them because these flat rides are just really amazing they are small they are well, not all small, but they are just really easy to use in a lot of ways and not like heavily themed or anything like that. So I think Frontier did a brilliant job with the flat rides and also with the coasters, of course, but I'm not really the coaster geek to say like, oh yeah, that's so good. Or I don't know, it looks good. Yeah, in my opinion, but what does my opinion, what does my opinion mean for coasters? You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I really like them. I really like that bobsled wooden coaster thingy that is just looking gorgeous in my opinion. And it's now a matter of time to just wait until we get like the icy bobsleds. I think that is like the most easiest expectation, right? They now have like the track. So why not just create also a real bobsled for like the snowy thing? So I don't know. That's just my expectation. I'm, uh, overall, I'm really excited about the vending machines that we got and the claw machines. They are just really gorgeous. Even though I have to admit that my pier is a little bit too small. I should have made it a little bit bigger to, uh, to decorate it a little bit more. In the end, I think it looks pretty decent pretty well uh, for the area that I uh, placed down the vending machines the fortune teller and the the well i didn't put in vending machines by the way only the uh claw machine popcorn machine the gumball machine and i think that was it wasn't it <laughs> yeah i think so but i really wanted to use as much vintage dlc stuff as possible at this pier and i think this is just the most perfect spot and in the end i'm not really sure if you will see it in this video probably in the next video i'm like i was like freaking out when i was walking at my pier and then i saw the castle weenie of the lady in wonderland in the back and i was like oh yeah big props to you lady you did it without even noticing you again made a spot where you can see the weenie just really clear and it's just beautiful i just really i was so surprised that again it looks gorgeous in the end so hopefully you guys like that too and um yeah i'm just really curious what you guys your opinion is about this new dlc uh, are you gonna buy it are you not going to buy it and we also oh my gosh i totally forgot about that okay we will do a, uh, a giveaway oh my Oh well, you know what? Let me just get back to that at the end of this video. I just totally forgot I could do a giveaway for you guys. So that's really amazing, isn't it? Oh, awesome. Okay, no, I, I don't have to wait until the end of the video. I'm just gonna share the Gleam link into the description. So if you want to win a copy of the Vintage DLC, just go to the link in the description and see how you can join the contest. That is just amazing. Oh my gosh, you see what happens? I'm just so super hyped about this new DLC that I'm like, oh, completely. I I've recorded so many stuff this weekend and I just didn't think about it until now. That's just really funny. Oh, well, things happen like that. I'm a human being and I'm just a little bit um uh for forgettable or how you say that when i am super hyped so i guess <laughs> gosh lady you're making a mess out of this great video oh my gosh okay i'm sorry guys 
let's get back to business. So at this point you see the entrance of the pair and of course I use a lot of inspiration of these Planet Coaster screenshots they shared because I just really really wanted to create a pair later on as I said we're gonna do a lot of stuff with the vintage pack itself and the main street area. Well, it's gonna have his own main street area. Maybe I'm even gonna make like a plaza at exactly the height of this entrance of the pier. I'm, I'm kind of thinking to do that. And in the beginning of this entrance, by the way, you will see me placing down the pier. But later on, I thought, no, I want to make it longer. So I used Grand Pier like they use in the screenshot too. So you might not see it that well in this episode, maybe in the cinematic shots. I'm not really sure. But it's gonna be fine, but not that you're like, hey, didn't you first place down a pier, uh, the pier, and then it's ground pier? Yes, I did. You are so sharp noticing that. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just amazing, guys. I just really can't wait to show you guys the end result of this pier, and I'm just, I just can't wait. At this point, while I'm recording, I haven't even started in the Lady in Wonderland yet with the toys area, but I just really can't wait to get doing that. And also that air balloon that air balloon of they they put in the game that animatronic is so stunning i love it and as you may have seen in my the lady in wonderland series i did create my own air balloons which are mostly out of art pieces and they look okay but I, I'm definitely going to replace them. That's the first thing I'm gonna do when I start building in that area. Replace all the air balloons because like they look gorgeous. They are, uh, they have like that, that fire sound underneath it. And even when you just place it down and it stands still at the ground, it still wobbles. It, it flows a little bit in the air. And I just love that small little detail. It looks so natural. I just really can't wait oh, to, to place them. It's gonna look so amazing. And I might even change some of them at the skyline of the uh, of the castle because I just oh, I just can't wait to use them more. I really am super excited for that. But we also really need to pay attention to place more rides. At this pier, we do have two more rides, but I really want to focus a little bit more on several rides. I know a lot of you people were asking for the Lady Studios, oh, please make more, build more rides. And I was like, what? At that point, most of you didn't even know this was like the same park as the Lady in Wonderland. And um, so I was thinking like, yeah, well, there are so many rides in this park, but you don't see them. <laughs> that was so bad, but I, it was just really funny. I really liked it. And um, in the end, uh, we're gonna have so many different rides in this park. I really would love to do another dark ride, but it takes just too much time at this point. So I'm not gonna start any dark ride anytime soon. Oh, by the way, these ticket boots you are seeing in the back right now. Oh, I love those. They are so... I don't know. They are cute. They look really um, vanilla-ish and you can use them for every flat skin as your... That little... Uh, mechanic booth I think it's more of a mechanic booth instead of a ticket booth uh, if you place that right but you, you guys know what I mean right they are just really cute and you can recolor them in every single color so you can use them in so many different um, different parts and different themes of course too I really am hoping that we get a few of those more in the game just a little bit of a variety maybe per theme or anything like that so like a fairy tale one and a western one spooky one adventure one etc that would be oh, that would be so amazing hopefully they will add that too in the game in the future oh, and these quarted uh the, these these barbershop quarted is amazing like seriously i had the game um just playing the whole time while well, sometimes i paused it and every time i was like dancing and singing along with their song because it's just oh it makes you feel happy i don't know it's just so funny i love those guys so i really that was like the first thing i'm gonna play at my peer yeah are those guys because they are so amazing so yeah 
I'm just really, really excited about this DLC. Still, I feel like there is so much more to do with it that I didn't... Um, I, I can do even... I think I can do better. But I'm still really happy with it. But I wish my peer was just way bigger than it was right now. But it, on the other hand, if you make like a very big peer, it also doesn't make that much sense. So um, I think it's it's fine the way it looks right now. And maybe in the future we will have a new park with a new... Uh, with another pair, I have no idea, but for now, I think this is the perfect spot in the Lady Studios uh, to have this pair to drag the the people that are in the park to um, that drag the people in to a few years earlier, like to 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 19 what is it 1915 1960? I have no idea what year exactly, but. It's, I think it's just really a lot of fun. <laughs> and I hope you guys do too. Gosh, I'm so rambling right now. It's been a very long time since I have been rambling as much as this. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm just super hyped and I uh, hope you guys are too. Please let me know in the comment section. Uh, what do you think of this new DLC? And uh, yeah, what I said, like, are you going to get it? Are you not? What are your reasons? And what is like the most exciting thing like don't forget about the free update you know the free update is amazing with the coaster supports and the camera mode and the vending machines and what was it again uh oh yeah the recoloring of your staff that is like an amazing feature i did recolor uh, all my staff for this pier and make a work made a work roster for them So I was really enjoying recoloring my staff and I'm just hoping that we can recolor our entertainers in the future, too Hi, but I'm so excited for that. Hopefully they will add it But I, I see so many people asking for it. So hopefully as always they listen to us well mostly <laughs> so it's gonna be amazing Please, uh, guys, make sure to subscribe, of course, if you already haven't, and leave a like at the video if you do. I'm, again, very sorry for my rambling. I really hope you guys don't mind. And uh, don't forget to join the Gleam competition. And I really hope to see you guys in the next episode, because we're going to finish this pair very, very soon. Thank you guys so much. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.